Hi everybody, Andrea here again to show you some very simple counter workout. So basically a kitchen workout at the counter. So here where I am in my kitchen and uh, I'm going to just show you some warm-ups first just to stretch out these muscles before we get into our counter workout. Although we're going to do our counter stretch just right here. Okay, so let's start by loosening our legs. There we go. Swinging side to side. Okay, so we do this about five times on each side. And then the other side. So this is really good for after you've sat for a long time, loosening those hips, hip joints. Yeah, and then uh, really getting our legs ready to work out. So here we go. So we'll do the next one is bringing our right foot in front, our left foot behind. And you're going to stretch. You're going to push the counter and have a good little stretch. So this really stretches out my calf muscles at the back and my Achilles tendons at the back. So, and then another way to do it is just to bend your knees slightly and you can even bend it just on the left knee. You can feel the Achilles. So the big thing is you want to keep that back foot down. So you don't want to have this. You're going to keep this straight and down. So both feet are planted on the floor. Okay, and you switch legs, you do the same thing on the other side. Again, bringing it down. Okay, so you're really pushing in so you can feel the Achilles at the back. So really stretching that out, good for runners. And then you can push out in front this way too. So this stretches out the front, your, your, um, ha your, your shin, and the first front part of your legs. Okay, and then again there. So that's a good little stretch, okay? Another little stretch you can do is this one right here. See, I'm stretching from side to side, just like that. Holding the counter and stretching. So you're getting the inside of your legs right on there. Okay, um, so that's a really, really nice stretch. It feels really good. So again, you want to be in good alignment with your body and having that nice stretch. It feels awesome. Okay, so let's start with our little uh, workout at the counter. So the first one is a counter push-up. So bringing your hands here. Now you're gonna be about my two feet or width from the counter. So, but I'm gonna be a little bit more further apart. So about two and a half. So that you have good alignment with your body. So, and you're engaging in your core. So big thing is alignment, 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 alignment. So ears, shoulders, hip, one alignment. So, and then you're holding your lower abs tight, okay? Standing in this position. So you're gonna push in like a push-up, just like a normal push-up, but you're pushing it in the counter. So here you see 90 degrees and back up. One, two, three, four, five, okay? So you can do as many as you want, depending on how you feel, okay? So the next one is uh, this one right here, holding onto the counter on the side. And you're going to do a squat, a counter squat. So you're going to come down as if you're sitting on a chair and come back up. That's, and then making sure you're tucked in, in your, in your pelvic tilt, tucked in. Again, coming down and in. So making sure you're not going past your feet, uh, toes. So you don't want to go like that. You want to be up here so I can see the tops of my shoe. Okay, so there, one. So I don't know how much felt. Four and five. So there you go. So those are very good for our quads. Next one I'd like to show you is this one right here. Like as if you're saddling a, a horse or you're going on top of something. So you're just gonna squat this way. Okay, so keeping your knees out and in. Coming up and out. Down, again, engaging the core down and up. This will really give you a nice stretch and nice burn for the inner thigh. Okay, so beautiful stretch. I feel really yummy doing this. It's a good little stretch. Okay, so bring yourself back here. Next one I'd like to do is a cross one, cross lateral. So again, coming back to the plank position and here we're going to go across the body. So crossing to the other side of the counter and back, and then over here to the other side of the counter. So this one is a nice one for building your, again, your arm strength, 
your core, your legs, having that nice burn, so both sides. So again, starting cross, side. It's just as if you were doing it on the floor, but you're doing it at the counter. Just less evasive, but giving you a good work. And again, you're keeping that back foot down so it's not pulling up. Okay, so try not to pull up. Okay, so there you go. Cross lateral. The next one is a wall support. So you're coming here. Now I have tile on my floor, so it's best to wear shoes. Or if you have hardware in your kitchen, wear shoes because it helps you not to slip. Okay, so here I'm just holding this as it's sitting in a chair. And you can hold it for 30 seconds or 10 seconds. Yeah, and just holding it, making sure your knee is not over top your, your, over top your toes. So sitting there holding it. Five, four, three, two, one. And that's pretty good. So yeah, you're really working on those quads. Good for runners. Okay, so the next one is a dip. Now this counter is a little bit higher than this one. So I'm going to go to the lower one. So if you have a lower one or a actually very counter worker, so you can even do this on a chair, but this is a nice at the counter. I'm going to go up here. So you're working on your triceps. I'm already out of breath. Maybe I'm so excited. <laughs> Let me show you guys. Anyway, so this is going up and down. Okay, so you're already working on the tricep dip here. Again, you're not going past your knee. Making sure you can see the tops of your toes, so you're good in alignment with your knee bending, okay? So that, and the next one is the one that I need to take you over there to a corner of a counter. So the corner right here, you see this corner? Everybody has a corner in the counter, right by the lazy Susan. So coming in here, you're going to Go up and hold. So this is good for the core. And holding it five, four, three, two, one, and down. Now there's another way you can do it is coming up, going across, and hold. Okay? So that's another good one to hold up for your core muscles, strengthening the arms. Okay. And then of course for cool down, you can kick and continue to do the ones that I just showed you earlier, the ones beginning of the video. So let me know how this video feels and how you thought about my kitchen workout. Okay, for you guys and uh, yeah, have a, yourself a great day. It's a beautiful day outside. Cool, but still nice. Um, and uh, yeah, please let me know from the comments below how you felt about the kitchen workout. Bye, enjoy your day. Bye.